Uh, question is, uh, does vitamin D get affected by alcohol? And the answer is absolutely yes. If you're taking a vitamin D supplement, which most people in America should be taking, uh, then you're not supposed to take it with alcohol, obviously, because the alcohol will cause a malabsorption. Alcohol is toxic. Yeah, I know that the positive effects of alcohol in the Mediterranean diet have been well documented. However, in the United States, uh, in the last 10 years, uh, I've seen uh, people coming into the office for physicals and we're just getting patients left and right with uh, fatty liver. It didn't have that before. There's more fatty livers out there. I'm not sure if it's just because of alcohol or because of the bad cholesterol diet, but um, it does cause a malabsorption. The malabsorption that occurs is kind of like the vomiting and the diarrhea that happen after a binge or after a party. I remember college days, uh, that would be considered normal. Go into the cafeteria dehydrated, have uh, soup or whatever it was that we had. But it's because the gut is trying to get rid of the alcohol. So it pushes it out through the mouth or through the butt real fast. Well, that's called malabsorption. When that happens, the alcohol leaves, but so does all the nutrient from the last six hours. And uh, that includes vitamin D. So if you're trying to take a vitamin D supplement and you just drank, it will probably get washed out with your food and alcohol. If you were trying to take a vitamin D supplement before you drink, the alcohol will irritate so that anything that's in the gut for the last six hours is leaving. So bottom line is that um, don't take it uh, together. Uh, try to limit your alcohol to one or two glasses per day. Um, the exposure to sunshine, if you're in an equatorial, if you live in an equatorial state, is probably okay. 20 minutes a day, 40% of your body exposed to the sun between the hours of 10 and 2. Now you have to be careful about melanoma, but that might give you 10,000 international units of vitamin D in your bloodstream uh, active. So if you can't afford that or you're not in an equatorial state and you live in Chicago, I don't think that uh, spending that much time in the sun will get you much uh, as far as blood levels. So again, you'll have to get it through your food. And most of us, uh, most of the patients I see uh, don't cook or at least the cooking is considered uh, pushing three minutes and start on your microwave. And that means that the likelihood is very low that your uh, food company that you just bought your meal from is gonna have adequate amounts of vitamin D in it. So um, take the supplement, you see my video for how much to take, uh, try to decrease the alcohol. Don't take the supplement with the alcohol, try to space it by about 12 hours, that should be enough. And um, and also uh, the same goes with uh, the use of uh, the medicines that you take after alcohol indulgence, like Pepsid, Tagamet, Zantac, or Prevacid, Protonics, Prilosec, and Nexium. Those medicines will change the absorption as well. Um, they do protect the stomach, but they protect the stomach uh, from cramping by decreasing the acid. So if you decrease the acid, it changes absorption of the entire gastrointestinal tract. Uh, I'll talk about that in another video, but um, try not to take medicine, those medicines with the vitamin D as well.